Surprise, I had a procedure. Take all my money. I'm kidding, I bought these. And we're gonna see if the reviews are correct and if the work. I know I said yesterday I love my chins, and I really do, I really do, but I just had to see if this is something that works. So did you guys know I had a butt chin? Now you do. <laughs> Normalized butt chins. And if this works, I apologize to all the doctors for taking your business. on for 30 minutes. Okay, it's been 30 minutes. We're going in for the reveal. Oh, f Can I I can't see it. Is it different? I can't. I don't know. It might it might look better. But guess what? Who is still shopping for you? Dr. Maxfield. It's me. So <laughs> he saw this video and he thought Dr. Shaw needs to improve his <laughs> under chin area. So he purchased these for me. And we'll try these out for you on video. But we're going to talk a little bit about the science here. Whether or not we think the V-line lifting hydrogel collagen mask is helpful for your double chin. And we'll talk a little bit about what's been shown to be helpful for these double chins in general and whether or not this could be added to your lifting routine. Better yet, could this replace? You won't need doctors anymore because you have this. Chin lifting, this is chlifting. Chlifting, stay tuned. Here we go, here we go. So we'll read the instructions. It's very straightforward. First, remove the protective film. Before, well, first open it, right? Okay. And then remove the protective film before use. Apply the mm -hmm. cooling gel side to the skin. Gently stretch it like you saw two to three times before applying. Um, and then follow the instructions. That's it. And then we'll leave it on. We'll take a break. We'll see how it goes. For even better results, we recommend using for the first mm. week, wear one for at least one hour a day. Okay. So we're going for the even better results here. An and hour. I want even better results. We have it here. And overall, mm, I like the feel. I'm a fan of the feel. Okay, so far, actually, my experience is very positive. <laughs> it is cooling, and it does feel like it might break. Oh, she said stretch it. Right, so. mm, this is really cooling, and I and it, like mm. in my beard, I wasn't feeling it at first, and now mm -hmm. I am. So obviously, we're kind of exploring the experiential side of this first. This is actually kind of nice. Initial impressions, it's nice. And it's kind of like an emotional support strap for your chin too. It just feels like it's it, tucking it, it in. It feels, this is, a, this is, this is actually kind of nice. <laughs> I agree. It's kind of like a weighted blanket for your face. It is, it's like a cold weighted blanket for your face, which can't mm. ask for anything better in life. Mm. While we've got these on, life update. If we listen to our podcasts a little bit, I've been doing intermittent fasting for like 18 months. Been very, very dedicated to it, not being good. I have crushed it now. And it's not all about weight loss and it never is. It's just like, I've noticed I'm, I've been very unhealthy. Also seltzer water, still outstanding. I find seltzer water or bubbly water to be disgusting for the most part. <laughs> in fact, one time uh, back when we were in training, Dr. Maxfield, put seltzer water in his oatmeal. I just want the world to know that while we have these masks on. I think we should leave it on for the entire video. Oh yeah, let's leave it on the whole video for sure. So let's pause right now and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit more about the benefits of this. All right, so now we're back. Overall, let's first go with our experience so far. So I kind of like it, you know, cooling, just enough pressure, it doesn't feel uncomfortable by any means. I could go longer than the hour and not feel uncomfortable. Yeah. So overall, I'm actually surprised, but the experience <laughs> has not been bad. Now let's talk about the ingredients. They highlight a few. The ones they highlight mostly though are the hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. And I love aloe. I'm a huge aloe fan. I might be the biggest aloe proponent in the world. Maybe. But does it work here? I'm not so sure. Right, so they're saying that this aloe is gonna help to tighten and redefine your jawline and eliminate your double chin and saggy skin. It's gonna do none of those things. So on an ingredient basis, not really. I mean, the ingredients are fine. You know, maybe a few allergens. Let's put that to the side. Okay, so the ingredients don't carry it. Now does the lifting help itself. As snugly as this is, I would have to say no. I Physiologically, I don't believe a temporary pressure, a temporary alleviation of gravity is gonna make a lasting difference. Think about it. If you're using this for an hour a day, other 23 hours, what's happening, right? I mean, you're getting that gravitational push. You're getting bone resorption of your jaw. You're getting redistribution of your fat compartment. So all this stuff that's happening for 23 hours, 
using one hour to kind of push it, hold it back up in place is not probably gonna make a huge difference long-term. I do have a use for this, and we're gonna talk about this in a, a little bit later in the treatments that do work for double chins and what we could potentially do for a double chin. But for this to be lifting, maybe you'll see a temporary effect. Like I thought she maybe did have a little bit of a benefit in her video. It's possible, yeah. And I think that accounts for some of the videos on these masks. Like, mm -hmm. could it tighten it up? And also though, this is another cold temperature thing. Could cold temperatures tighten it enough to, for the next minute or two after you take it off, could you mm. see a difference? And I think it's possible. I think it's possible. Temporary maybe, but long-term, I don't expect there to be a huge difference with the lifting mechanism here. How much do these cost? This one looks like $25 for, yeah, seven count for $25. Could it be an expensive if you think about it. Like, 25 if, a week. Because they want you to use 25 a week. It's like a hundred bucks a month. $1,200 a year is that plastic surgery that <laughs> basically this is you're banking on this really working really really it's, working it's you're actually paying for it. as a consumable this thing starts to add up so pretty pricey so the question is a verdict on this is this worth it i mean you'd have to compare it so i'd say for the money this versus surgery is it as effective i would have to say no i would say if you're looking for a sculpted jaw you want to get rid of your double chin you want to put the money where it's actually going to matter most this is certainly not worth your money that being said kind of a nice experience and i'm not against it i actually think you'd probably see better benefits if you slept with this all night i still don't think you're going to see any tremendous difference with this but i do have some utility for this and this is where and this is also making me talk funny a little bit i don't know if you've noticed and this I just thought of right now, so you could tell me I'm insane. Say, for example, you did go down this, the procedural route. Let's talk about the treatments for double chin, because I actually think of the main treatments, and we'll talk about these, Kybella, liposuction, fillers to the jaw, which enhances the jawline, which lifts the rest of everything around it. Could this be used after these treatments mm. because after you know rhinoplasty after surgery on the jaw they do like to have compression in these areas so could this be something to help supplement these other treatments because people that do kybella get a ton of swelling mm -hmm. is this something that could be a nice addition to kybella this would feel great after kybella so we'll start there these are your alternative treatments we won't deep dive these to death but we'll just talk about the basics kybella is deoxycholic acid it's actually made in your gallbladder. Well, it's stored in your gallbladder, made in your liver. You inject it into the fat pads here and it breaks it down. It might actually cause a little fibrosis and skin tightening as well. This ingredient had been shown to work through MRI-based studies. We're through an MRI that clinically and statistically show that this caused a decrease. That ingredient is controversial. I've seen a lot of professionals, plastic surgeon, dermatologists go back and forth. Is this actually worth the money? Is this actually effective? And if that can't stack up, very hard to say that this could stack up if it's competing for the same space. Like Dr. Shaw said, the main thing there, it is you definitely get a lot of swelling there. Not shocking, but it's very prominent. You definitely get swelling afterwards. This could potentially help with that, I think. The other options are liposuction specifically. You're gonna see more guaranteed results than, with that than you would with Kybella. Again, you get a lot of swelling afterwards. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, lifting with something like this could be nice. So that's another alternative. And then the last option is doing things to sort of enhance the jaw area in general. Sometimes a lot of people don't think about this, but let's say that having a non-prominent jaw can make that fat underneath the chin look worse. So putting some volume through filler, through jaw implants, can actually cause that to not be as obvious. It doesn't get rid of the underlying fat. So doing this in maybe combination with something else can yield even better results. So just something to think about if you have one of these issues. Again, something that could be supplemented by this mask. What do we think about this mask then? I still like it. Honestly, I still on my face. I say it's enjoyable. I think we found a suitable role for it. It's absolutely not the role they proposed though. Right, so uh, to be clear on this Dr. Lee channel, <laughs> everything they claim this mask is gonna do, it's not gonna do those things. What it will do is be pretty calming and soothing, feel like a cold hug for your face, and three, maybe it's gonna help if you're gonna get another procedure done to help to complement that procedure, help with some of that swelling, and maybe even help with the healing process of those by keeping things tight and compact in this area. Overall, I'd say save your money. Unless you got some disposable income, then check these out. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I put this more in the treat yourself category, but again, it's, it's not what they were aiming for. So uh, I think doctorally not approved.
Not a clue. Let us know what other products you want us to buy. I am apparently on a spending spree, but I, I, the reason I do it is like, I want to buy these so you don't like, if there's something that's worth your money, it's very important to both of us that you know that. And if there's something going viral, that's not, we not only want to look at the science, the data, but you know, sometimes we also want the product too. So we check it out so you don't have to. Um, also the unmasking, it's not like a, does it look better? Uh, it's tough to tell, tough to tell. Well, I, don't, I can't wait and it's arbitrary. It's, yeah, I didn't hate it. Didn't hate it. Thank you all so much for your trust and support. See you in the next video. We'll see you next time. Can you elevate seltzer water? Maybe. You've been doing this for years. Hmm. Not like weeks. Like you've been <laughs> <laughs> I forget that. In. <coughs> don't open it with your mouth. He's been doing a lot of these, like, he'll take a water and he'll add powder to it. Oh, okay. It's powdered mixes, right? You've it's been true. doing that for a long time. You seem to be the world's expert in, in these at this point, because you've tried quite a few. <laughs> it's true. I'm also rethinking supplements. I've always been like, you know, if you eat a balanced diet, you get the nutrients from it. It's probably preferable because it's more natural. And I still stand by that. But what I've noticed, though, is with supplements, you can kind of be deliberate. Um, you can replace calories for nutrients. So I actually am starting to see the utility in very select ones. This is um, mango chile from LMNT. And I'm loving this spicy sweet combination. It is not meant to go in seltzer water and it's, I'm not putting the whole packet in because you're supposed to, this goes in I think 32 ounces of fluid. <laughs> Um, but I'm I'm loving the flavor of this. This is really interesting. Whoa, stuff. it's great as a oh. form of chemical reaction over here. This thing is exothermic. <laughs> is it good or what? Mm -hmm. Energy booster? What is that? No, yeah, so it's an electrolyte drink mix. It's a very interesting company. So it has it's high in sodium, 1,000 milligrams. It also has a lot of potassium and magnesium. Potassium and magnesium, I actually, I'm very certain that's very good for you. Their take on sodium is fairly unique. They, they feel like you need more of it and they have some studies and science to back up why. But yeah, it's just an electrolyte drink mix.